what are the key lessons that you've learned that you would believe would benefit aspiring developers? Well, you should you should be open minded. That's probably the the number one advice, right? Be open to new stuff. What sets EG uh, products apart from others in the industry? I I, I, mm. I get the question. It's not a, an easy question to answer. How do you foresee the growth of EG aligning with the broader IT landscape in Mangalore? Well, that's that's an easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy question. I believe we will grow here. Yeah. And the reason is that here in Mandala, we have a lot of smart people that we can recruit. <laughs> that's, the, that's the short version of the, of the story, right? Good morning, everyone present here. Welcome to the Vertex Quick Bites presented by Vertex Workspace, episode four. So we have with us Mr. Yarek and... Uh, how has it been in Mangalore so far, sir? Well, I love the city, right? I love the country in general. I love the food. Uh, what is what is a bit surprising for me, you know, the, the daily traffic. This is so much different to what we have in Europe. Regarding the office, I like the atmosphere. I like the, you know, the, the attitude of people. I like them being friendly, open-minded, willing to learn, listening to what we would like to train them. And... I, I mean, I really appreciate being there, and I really uh, appreciate EG as an office in Mangalore. Thank you, thank you. And so, uh, could you provide us a brief overview of EG uh, for our audience? So, EG is a vertical software company operating mainly in Nordics, so countries like uh, Denmark with the headquarters, then we have Sweden, Norway, and so on. Um, it's a vertical software company, meaning that we focus on different verticals on the market. Honestly, I believe we produce software for every possible area of the business. So just to give you an example, we have like two sectors. The first one will be the public sector. So it will be, you know, uh, uh, software for governments, education, this um, like government controlled businesses. And then there is also a private sector, which will be everything else, like uh, retail, uh, logistic, logistics, um, uh, constructions, and so on and so on. Uh, we, 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 we have a lot of divisions. We have a lot of business units, which are like um, uh, working in that specific division. And those, uh, those business units, they also have like a lot of development teams. So it's... The kind of a software that we produce is very broad and very diverse. So uh, I believe that uh, everyone looking for the for the job in EG mm -hmm. will find something interesting, also from the business or the main perspective. Yes. Right? So what is it that you do specifically? I'm the DevOps lead. Uh, this is the the group function. So I play the like a central role uh, across all the divisions, all the business units. My primary responsibility is to provide the development platform for all the developers in EG. So I'm the guy responsible for the tooling, basically. Mm -hmm. I run the team or teams of um, DevOps engineers and DevOps architects. And all the developers in EG, all those divisions and business units, those are my customers, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like an internal service. Uh, yes. And I, I mean, my product is the development platform. So I sell the platform, I sell the support. Okay. And all the all the people in India are my customers, so it's like an internal role. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, what sets EG uh, products apart from others in the industry? What sets it? What sets? Yeah, it? I, 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 I get the question. It's not a, an easy question to answer. Uh, I mean, we produce a lot of software, right? So, so it, it's a lot of applications, a lot of systems that we sell. But I think what 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 differentiates EG from other companies selling the software is that we we want our customers to succeed mm. together with us. Mm. So it's kind of a, like more. That's my personal opinion, but I think that we 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 have like more personal relation with our customers. Mm. It's it's based on uh, like mutual trust, mm. and I think that we have a lot of business specialists from all the domains we operate on. So, so we understand we understand the needs of our customers better yes. when you compare it to the other uh, 
uh, software oh, okay. uh, software vendors. Okay. That's my opinion. I believe uh, I believe that's that's the main difference. I okay. would say there's that personal touch that you guys that get. personal touch, this yes. personal relationship with our customers, mm -hmm. and this is uh, this is something special. I believe yes. it's not like we sell the software and that's it. That's something more. Ah, okay. Also, uh, what are the key lessons that you've learned that you would believe would benefit aspiring developers? The key lessons or key advices? Yeah, advices. Yes, advices. So, you mean like for young people yes, trying, to, trying yes, to find exactly. a job? Um, well, you should, you should be open-minded. That's probably the, the number one advice, right? Be open to new stuff. Uh, be open to new technologies. And try to keep up every day. That's uh, that's um, that's something I also do. Mm -hmm. Even being in the industry for I don't know 25 years already, okay. I learn every day because okay. if you stop learning, your knowledge will be obsolete in a, in a couple of months, Definitely, right? So yeah. so it's all about the constant learning, trying to catch up with the new technologies, but also you should somehow have the ability to filter out things that you think will not be useful mm -hmm. so and that's not easy right because if if there is something new coming you you want to learn it it's exciting it's a new technology right but please develop this kind of intuition what try to imagine what that technology will look like in a couple of years mm. yes because the technologies they come and go right yes. today we have like a public cloud which is you know all the all the hype about public cloud it may change in the future, right? Mm. I don't know if, it, if it's happening, but that's my point, mm. right? So technologies, they come and go. Adapt is what you're saying. Adapt, yeah. try to filter out yes. all the news that you're getting about the technology. Stay up to date, but learn to, you know, remove the, the, the stuff that you think will go away. Mm. Okay. It's not easy. You need to Definitely. have intuition for that and uh, some, you know, forward thinking. Yes, the thirst for it, like, yeah. yeah. So, uh, how do you foresee the growth of EG aligning with the broader IT landscape in Mangalore? Well, that's that's an easy, <laughs> that's an easy question. I believe we will grow here, yeah. and the reason is that here in Mangalore we have a lot of smart people that we can recruit. That's the <laughs> that's the short version of the of the story, right? But I really believe that in Mangalore we have a lot of bright talent available. We have all those uh, high schools which are which yeah. are aligned what we need regarding the skills, right? And to be honest, Mangalore is not yet that popular mm. in uh, in the industry, yes. you know, other software vendors. So this gives us a chance to grab those talent and do something ex exciting together, right? Mm. It will be different in Bangalore yes, because there definitely. is there is like a lot of vendors yes. trying to, uh, to, to grab those talents. But I, I believe here it's, it's, um, it's a perfect place for us. And also this is the advantage for those young people living here in Mangalore because we are there and we are doing very cool stuff mm. right so it is an awesome company mm. and it's growing very fast yes we do modern technologies we we, we, we grow very fast we, we do interesting stuff we have a lot of bright people yes. and then this is an, an excellent opportunity for young people here mm. To get into something which is which is very cool mm. working and not looking something outside of Mandalore. That's, yes. that's yes. you know that's that would be probably mm. my view on this. So uh, how how did you find Ajanta Business Center? How is how how is the management? How are the people around? How is it? Yeah, I mean this is what I was uh, saying previously, uh, right? The people are awesome. Mm -hmm. I love being here. The, and this is for, for the management and also for, for developers and so on. People are friendly, people are smart. You know, th this is all very well organized, okay. I would say. So I have I have no problem doing my job here yeah. because there is no difference. I mean, it's it's the same as in Europe, so no, no really difference. And that's a positive thing. Regarding the office in, in this business center, I like the quality. I mean, I mean that, that's not different from what we have back in no, like Denmark, good. for example. So, so it's all very good. I, I, I think that you know, for anybody looking for doing business in Mangalore, that's that's a perfect opportunity mm. to to have a nice office, um, to have a nice pool of talent mm. that you can recruit. So overall, this is very positive experience. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.